leak on a 97 V2300 and this is where it's coming from. Right here. This is the vacuum. Right there. And it goes to the uh, EVAP um, closed solenoid, I guess it is. Right here. Okay, so the vacuum leak on the uh, 97 Mazda B2300. Um, we don't have the parts to fix it. We're going to need some hose to fix it. Uh, so for the time being, I just put a piece of glove over top of the uh, vacuum port. Um, and I'm going to use that to just, you know, to block off the vacuum so it doesn't, doesn't have a leak anymore. Uh, this car also had a symptom of a uh, low AC uh, performance. It was, it's working. It's got a uh, great cooling on the low side, but um, it wasn't coming out the vents, and I think it had something to do with the vacuum leak, so we're gonna test that next. Okay, so we have no AC on this uh, B2300. We got the vacuum leak fixed temporarily with that cap, but um, the AC is still not responding very well. The symptom is uh, at idle here. Blowing hot right now. AC is, compressor is on. We have pretty cool, decently cold lines. Fan is working. Put my vacuum lines back on. I measured uh, 17 inches at this uh, vacuum input into the reservoir down there. The reservoir. So um, that's a good number at idle. All right, so we're getting 94 degrees. The uh, mode actuation. The if I change the modes from fresh air. I mean uh, from face here to um, face feet to feet to uh, dash it all works but the temperature on the hand I'm just gonna put it on AC it doesn't change 94 is not hot and it's not cold and right now we're really not even looking at Yeah, it's not changing nothing. So this dial is not not really doing anything. Let's see if it changes. Make sure I got a good meter reading. Oh, tss, 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 dummy! Had it on hold. I had it on hold because I turned the light on. But anyway, still 98 degrees. It's on full cold. good ground let's see if it changes I'm on the uh, let's see what I'm on I am on the looks like gray and yellow as battery voltage change it So that's just power in. Let's try another one. I don't know what I'm supposed to be seeing. 31 millivolts. Got some change there. 31 to 26, that's from full cold to full hot. 31, 33. 
okay and that was on the black wire and I got a, it looks like a gray red up here on the top too 11.3 volts so halfway nothing full nothing not really anything I don't know if that's an indication of an open circuit or what it's two volts less than input it seems like I don't really know anything about this circuit so there's three wires on top and we got two on the bottom see what those guys do 355 millivolts on full hot halfway oh yeah they were getting some changes there uh, 3.8 at halfway and then we got 11.14 uh, and that is on the green wire so that is good uh, that it's changing doesn't mean it's working, but it does mean it's changing. 4.4. Okay. Oh. And last wire is looks like a green, uh, a yellow wire with a green stripe. Full cold through 32 millivolt. Halfway is no change, and full high is 27 millivolts. And that's my readings off of that. I'm gonna save these for later for reference. I'll look it up. I'm about to head out of here. I'm not gonna be able to fix this one today.